number 11 is Gao Yanfeng from Harbin, China, an obviously feisty player who hopes what he is learning here in Canada will make him a hero back home. For me personally, he says, I hope I can be selected for the Olympics. This is the goal for all of us here. The name of this team is Quinlan Red Star Canada Junior, a teenage squad training and competing in Toronto, a big part of an ambitious plan to make China competitive in hockey in time for the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. About half the players here are Chinese citizens. The rest are Canadians or Americans with family connections to China. Gavin Yi, born and raised on Vancouver Island, is one of the team's top players. That'd be a huge honor, obviously. Uh, playing, playing on a team nationally is, uh, would be a huge honor. Do you have grandparents? Yeah. So, I have? I have a grandfather. Grandfather. Yeah. The players attend a private school with English lessons for anyone who needs them. All of them are on the ice often in the school's program for high-performance athletes. Many of them haven't played hockey for that long, but they're great athletes. And if you start with a great athlete and you have great coaching, you can catch up quickly. And uh, we think we're going to bring these, these students and the team up very quickly to a high level. Put the pucks on the net. Former NHLer Steve Casper has been brought in to coach. I think that it's been uh, encouraging to watch the the kids from Canada um, merge with the kids from China, I think that uh, we're, they're really becoming a team, and I think that's a great thing. The next goal, a World Junior Tournament, with many of the Red Star players suiting up for China. Ultimately, well, number 21, Young Zehang, wants to be like his favorite player, Sidney Crosby. He's on the ice for the Ginla. The Ginla Young knows all about the goal Crosby scored to win gold for Canada at the Olympics in Vancouver. It's gold on 2010's goal. Yeah, it's classic, yeah. The golden goal. Yeah. And you want to score one. I want to score twice. His dream and China's hopes fueling this team in Canada. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.